Hey traders, welcome back to another profit and loss recap video. Today is Thursday, December 14th. I just finished up trading for the morning and I show you guys my profits, so I have to show you my losses as well. Today I lost $1,272 short selling the stock CCCC. And in this video, we're going to talk about this trade and I'm going to kind of go over where I went wrong in this trade so that hopefully you can learn from my mistakes and in doing so, you can improve your own trading. So all of that being said, let's get right into it. If we zoom into the price action here, we can see that this has had some serious momentum over the past couple of days on Tuesday from a low in the 120 area all the way up to today's high so far of $8.37. So that kind of leads to the question, why was I looking to short sell this stock when there was serious upside momentum? And the fact of the matter is that if we take a look at yesterday's price action, into the close, I was noticing that this $6 area was starting to turn into a bit of resistance. And I want to just go ahead and draw that line here because we're going to come back to that level once we start talking about today's price action. But on top of that, I also noticed that this was not necessarily a low float stock. Typically, the stocks that are having these two, three, four day massive runs are going to have relatively low floats of anywhere from 500,000 shares up to around 5 million shares. But this stock has a float of about 42 million shares. So I knew that if it was going to continue to run, it was going to need to have very big demand and the volume was going to need to continue to pour into the stock. So all that being said, because it was so overbought from the previous two days of momentum, um, paired with that resistance and paired with the fact that it was not a very low float stock I decided to take a small short position today as it was spiking up into that six dollar resistance area at the market open I want to actually take a look here at the one minute chart because there is something very important about this price action that I noticed in hindsight and um, what I see here is that we get this breakout above this six dollar resistance at that point in time I was thinking there was a good chance that this was just a false breakout and that it was going to start selling off back down to the downside. Um, but obviously that's not the case. It started to spike up even higher. I added into my short position in the 650s, and that is where, in my opinion, I went wrong on this trade. My initial plans were to only add into this position if it was confirmed a false breakout, and if that $6 area started to turn back into resistance. But I added some more shares anyway up in the 650s, got my average price to about 628, I believe, and as we can see, it kind of just continued to trend higher and higher and higher. And once it started to break out over $7 per share, because $7 was my risk level going into this trade, that's where I cut my losses and ended up with a loss of $1,272. Now, fortunately, I did stick to my risk level and I did cut my losses when I was planning on, because had I not, this would have ended up turning into a loss of over $2,500. Um, just based on today's current high of day. So that's one thing that I would say I did well with this trade, but on the other side of the spectrum, um, like I said, I should not have been adding into this trade as the trade was going against me. And on top of that, if we zoom in a bit further, another red flag for anyone that was short selling this morning was the fact that on this pullback, the $6 level of past resistance started to turn into a level of support. Every time it briefly dipped underneath that level, it was bought back up very quickly. And we see three candles in a row that close just above that past level of resistance. So that to me is a bullish sign. And obviously hindsight is 2020, but I of course wish I would have been paying more attention to that as I was in this trade because I could have cut this loss very early on, had a very small loss, and then maybe look to reshort in the future. And that would have been a really great way to minimize the loss from this trade. So those were kind of the key takeaways for me from this trade. You live and learn every once in a while, you're going to have a stock that just continues to rip higher and higher and higher, even though there are so many things that in your head are reasons for it to start dumping. And for me, this was just one of those stocks. I was on the wrong side of the trade and I took a loss because of it. But thankfully, I managed my risk and this is not a loss that is going to set me back very far. I'm confident that I'll be able to bounce back very quickly from this. So anyway, hopefully you found some value in this video and you learned from my mistakes. If you did, please make sure to give the video a like and subscribe to the channel. And of course, if you want to hear about the stocks that I'm trading in real time and work with our team of traders, get access to our day trade and swing trade alerts, our detailed trade plans, our live custom scanner streams, and so on and so forth. All of that can be found in the Market Master group. There's going to be a link down below in the description for you to get signed up and your first week will be 100% free. Anyway, thank you again for watching. I hope you enjoyed and good luck with your trading.